you've mentioned, I think, briefly water. Mm -hmm. I think that gets overlooked a lot. Totally. Or people will think, oh, it's in my coffee or it's in my soda yeah. anyway, so I'm getting enough. How much is enough? We hear about the eight glasses a day or, or whatever, yeah. and, and, and is that still pretty overlooked? Yeah, water to me is very underestimated. So, so our body's 60 to 70% water. So just like we're a refuel as it goes machine with food, we're a rehydrate as it goes machine with water. So you have to drink water consistently, not just in the morning and night, but throughout the day, because it directly affects how your body is going to burn fat. So when, you, when you're dehydrated, you release a hormone called antidiuretic hormone, which makes you suck all the water from your tissues to shuttle to your blood to protect your blood pressure, because your body's a reactive mm -hmm. device. So when you're not getting enough, that takes away from your digestion. That takes away from your muscles working. So you really need to drink consistently. I think a good starting point, women, two to three liters a day. Men should be probably about four liters a day. Your urine needs to be clear. You should be using water, not coffee as your water. I have no problem with coffee, but <laughs> coffee's a diuretic, mm -hmm. so it makes you, makes you pee a little bit more. Um, soda, I'm not a huge fan of, but if you're going to have soda, don't use that as your water. Drink straight water. You can add some lemon or lime to it. Good little trick, uh, cinnamon extract helps stabilize your blood sugar better, so you can dump some cinnamon extract in your water, and you can do that as well. Mm. You have to drink consistently. To me, it's six things. Sleep, nutrition, exercise, supplementation, water, and stress. They all, that's your plan. And once you get dialed in on those and you have systems for it, take your body wherever you want.